hi everyone welcome back so in the previous video we talked about and configured system resource monitoring for our server uh, our wordpress server and in this video we're gonna do the same but instead of system resource monitoring we're gonna do web server monitoring so in case of a web server what is there to monitor first of all we need to make sure that the web server process itself is running so in case of nginx we need to make sure that nginx is running and in addition to that we also need to make sure that the web server is actually responding to HTTP requests because it is possible for a web server to be running but be completely unresponsive to HTTP requests. So these are the two things that we will do today. We will create a process check and an HTTP check. So again, we're going to use our WordPress server as the test subject. And uh, so as usual, we will need an asset that would help us run these checks. In this case, it's a Nagios Foundations plugin. Uh, we're going to add it using the Sensu CTL command. Back in the workstation, we'll do the Sensu CTL asset add, then the plugin name, and then dash r. You know, we are renaming it to Nagios Foundation. Okay, so that is added. Next, we are going to create a new subscription called a Web Server, and uh, we need to update our entity to use that subscription too. Okay, so I'm going to update the subscription for this WordPress entity. So we are going to leave the class as agent itself. So as you remember, we have already added the subscription of system in the past. So we're going to add one more to it for so system and web server. Press enter. And uh, we can see that the subscriptions has been updated. Now let's go ahead and create the check to check for the running process. So the command is as usual, sensu ctl check create. Uh, this is the name of the check and uh, this is the command that is provided by the plugin and uh, we want to monitor if nginx is running every 15 seconds and the subscription is web server nothing new here we talked about it several times before i made a mistake while copy pasting it and uh, the runtime asset uh, was missing an n so i just deleted the check using sensu ctl check delete we'll re-add it again let me just fix that and uh, enter. Okay, created. Let's go ahead and check our events. And uh, you can see that the Nginx service event is present here and uh, the output is okay. Nginx is running. Now let's go back to the WordPress server and stop Nginx. And uh, again, back in the workstation, if we do sensu ctl event list, well, it runs every 15 seconds. So let's just give it 15 seconds. And now you can see that the output for nginx is critical. nginx is not in a running state. So that's what this check does for us. Let's go ahead and start nginx back. Okay. So we have the process check already present. So now we need to have the HTTP check. We need to make sure that not only is nginx running, but it is also responding to HTTP requests. Like if we do a curl request, it should work. All right, so for that, we're going to use the Sensu plugins HTTP asset, which also has a dependency on the Sensu Ruby runtime. But we have already installed this in the previous videos. So if you have not done that yet, so you need to add this one too. So again, back in our workstation, add the asset and uh, create the check. So in here, we're going to do check HTTP URL http localhost because the check is going to be running on the wordpress server where nginx is also running so it's localhost and uh, again 15 seconds and uh, subscriptions web server so let's see if the check is present and it is we can see that it is receiving a 200 response nginx is working i'm gonna go ahead and stop nginx once and let's do the sensu ctl event list and uh, we can see that uh, there is an error fail to open tcp connection to localhost so that's how an http check would help us that's pretty much it it's pretty easy to create checks for whatever we need to achieve so so in this video i have showed you how to create a check for running processes and an http request so as an exercise what you should do is you should create a check to see if mysql is running also you should create a check that would connect to the MySQL database every 15 seconds or so and uh, make sure that the database itself 
uh, the database server is working basically you need to create two checks one will check for if the process is running and the other one will check if the database server is accepting connections all right that's pretty much it for this video i know it has been short but uh so far we have created so many different kinds of checks so you will have an idea of what is important to monitor and uh, what kind of checks you should be creating when you are dealing with a new server and uh, how you can use the sensu uh, bonsai marketplace to find and use the community plugins that would help you with checks etc